With Hellion 7, shaping, modulating and adding animation to your sounds is easier than ever. Let me show you. Adding modulation to your sounds is an extremely important aspect of sound design and Hylian 7 has a completely redesigned modulation concept. So let me show you a very quick example of how you can start modulating everything in Hylian 7. In this case, I have an FM zone and I have a very dark bass sound. Now let's say I want to add a little bit of animation, a little bit of depth to this sound. So what I can do is I can use my modulation levels here and I can control all the operators at once. So how about if I could assign this to let's say an LFO or an envelope? Let me show you how easy it is to do this. What I can do is I can select the control, pretty much any control. And as you will see, the name of this control appears right here on the modulation section. So if I select this control, the FM modulator level, I can go here and start adding modulation destinations. So when I click on this plus symbol here, I have a list of all the modulation sources that we have in Hylian 7. In this case, I'm going to select my user envelope. And as you can see now, this connection has been made already with just one single click. So now I can just adding some depth. And I can do the exact same thing right here with the FM feedback. Now, how about I want to edit this modulation source? It's extremely simple. Let me show you. All you need to do is click on this jump to source icon and immediately we're taken into the modulation source. So as you can see here, I have a shaper envelope and this is a user envelope that I've created. And as you can see, I can see right here everything that this user envelope is controlling. So for example, if I want to jump back to FM feedback, I can click on jump to destination and immediately I'm back to this control that I'm modulating. And of course it goes without saying that if I want to add more sources for modulation, I can go here, click on the plus icon and immediately I can start adding an LFO for example, or I can add velocity as a controller to modulate this specific control. And if that wasn't enough, I can also use drag and drop to make my connections. For example, if I go to my LFO page here and let's say I want to assign this to my filter cutoff, I can click on this icon here, then drag it to any destination that I want. In this case, I'm going to go to my filter page and I'm going to assign it to the cutoff. I let it go and immediately I have my LFO assigned to my cutoff. And now I can add some depth. And as you can see, I have all this modulation going on with the FM engine, with the filter cutoff, and I can create some really interesting and complex sounds in no time. And again, if I want to jump into my LFO, I can just click on this icon, jump to source, and there we go, I am at my LFO. And as you can see, I can see everything else that this LFO is controlling. So it's controlling the cutoff, it's controlling the distortion. And if I want to control anything else with this specific LFO, I can just hit on this plus symbol here and maybe I want it to control the resonance as well. And pretty much any other parameter that's available in Hylian 7. Another amazing feature when it comes to modulation in Hylian 7 is the X LFO. And the X LFO gives you new ways of controlling your sounds. So I'm going to give you a very, very simple example. As you can see, I have this synth layer here with two oscillators. And if I go to my filter page, you will see that my cutoff is controlled by the X LFO X source. Now, if I want to see this, I can jump to source. And as you can see, here we have our X LFO. We have the X axis and the Y axis. And all of these can have different waveforms. So I could go from sine to triangle to so to down and so on and so forth. And I can select a different waveform for each one of these slots. 
for example, I can go for a sawtooth up here. Now, in this very simple example, I have the X axis to have a sine wave and the Y axis set on a sawtooth wave. And this one is set to half bar speed and this one is set to 16th note speed. So let's go back to our destination. And now we have only the X LFO X activated. And another very useful aspect of the modulation concept in Halion 7 is that we have this amazing visualization so we can see exactly what's going on with our modulation. And as you can see here, I have a sine wave. Now, if I start adding a little bit of depth to the X LFO Y, you will see that I can get a much more complex and interesting sound. So if I want, I can control this using my mod wheel and I'll have a super expressive sound at my fingertips. And you can see how the cutoff frequency is modulated and animated. If I want, for example, I can go here and change the waveform to a uh, log up. And you can see the visualization here. We can create orbits. It's extremely powerful. And here's another example of what you can do with the XLFO. In this case, I'm controlling the filter, but I'm also modulating the rate Y using a user envelope. And again, it's extremely easy to jump between destinations and sources. And of course, we have many other different sources like the step modulator, and we also have the modulation matrix. This is where we can see all the modulation sources and destinations at a glance along with their visualization. So you can really see at a glance what's going on with your modulation in this page. So this was an overview of the new modulation concept in Halion 7 and I hope you have loads of fun creating your own sounds.